Hi everyone, well I'm in my course shell and we're going to look at creating a discussion board today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my discussion board button and I'm going to click that button. Now with a blank shell there are some forums populated. So a forum is within a discussion board. Some people refer to these as a discussion board. The discussion board is really the whole thing. But whatever language you use is fine. So what I like to do, I'm going to walk you through creating a brand new forum. So I'll click the button above, create forum, and I'll call it, um, I'll name it. Now a suggestion from me is to always put the week number that you're intending to do this activity um, in your uh, course. Um, it helps with where you're going to grade and some other administrative things. It just makes it easier. So I'm going to call it week three and I'm going to do introductions. Now normally we do introductions week one, right? Um, I have some content for what it's going to cover, but I'm going to say um, let's make sure we know each other, each other well. Um, so the forum availability, again, you could limit when it's available. You can also um, set due dates and grade it. Now we're just going to give it, we'll say 10 points. So we'll give it some points. You can also add a due date and that's a, a more advanced topic we'll get to that later as well as adding a rubric for it. Oh. At the bottom are some options, some subscriptions. Will you allow your students to subscribe to this? Um, so I'm allowing them to subscribe to the forum. I could say a specific thread and a thread is a conversation within that forum. So um, I'm going to leave that defaulted. Then I get to the next part. Do I allow the authors to delete their own posts or edit them? I do not allow that. Do I allow them to create new threads? Normally I don't. Usually you want to put a conversation out there and have everybody reply to it, but it depends what you're doing. I do allow file attachments usually, allow them to reply with quotes. Now an interesting feature is allowing members to rate a post. So they could f give it a five stars or four stars. Um, I've just started playing with that. You may or may not want to try that. So once I have these set, I'm going to click Submit. And it creates my forum for me, but it's going to be at the bottom. Now this happens to be one I'm going to need to move up. So I'm just going to grab that arrow and move it. And let's see, I'm going to put it at the top. So I have that. With these other forms that are out here that are empty, you could just go in, click that arrow, and then go edit. And now I could change this. So I'm going to change this to be WK4 um, Tips and Tricks, let's say. And then for my description, we'll share tips and tricks this week. And I'll just submit that one. Okay, so now you can see I have two forums. So the week three, the introductions forum, there are no posts, but I'm going to need to put in the thread to get everybody started because I want them all participating with that thread. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and create a thread that's really a posting, but then everybody can reply to it. And I will call it um, introductions um, questions. You could do whatever you want. If you want to put a question, um, other details, and oh, I'm going to have to type out the questions or get it from somewhere else. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to find that quote. Okay, so I'm going to paste what I want in here. And you can see, to get us started, please post an introduction to yourself, of yourself. Include the following details. And in this case, I'm asking them about ebooks. Um, what I'm probably going to do also is, is to give them some sort of expectations, maybe how long this is, and then how many times they need to reply to others. Um, please reply to at least 
two other participants. <laughs> I didn't spell that right with, um, we gotta fix that. With at least one, with one question. Okay, so I'm gonna submit that. So what I just did was I created a thread, which is just a posting, and then everything else will pop, fall underneath that. It has the details. It is within my discussion forum, which is week three introduction, introductions. So there's my week three introductions. You can see there's one post, none on red. So now I've set that up. However, how do the students know to come and do this? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to week three and I have to create a way for them to know they have a discussion board. And the easiest way to do that is to go under Build Content, and I'm going to do what's called a course link. I'm going to, um, when it says Choose Item, I'm linking to that discussion board. So I'll click Browse, and it's going to show me my course. And I can go down and find the discussion board. Oh, and there's my Week 3 Introductions. So it gives me, it fills in the name and location. Now I like to give more descriptions to the name. So I'm going to say one, um, participate in the um, WK3 introductions um, discussion board activity. Okay. Um, and then I'll add details. So I'm going to paste what I expect. Um, please post an introduction to yourself. And then I'll put in, um, please read the other posts. And reply with a question to at least two. And just to make sure they see that, I'm going to bold that. And when I do that, I can click Submit. And now in week three, there it is. And you'll notice this is a link. And when I click that, it takes me right to that discussion board. And then I can go in and then reply as a student. So that's how discussion boards work. I hope this helps.